Sylvia Garcia and I'm from Houston, Texas, and I just wanted to <clears throat> underscore uh, what many of my colleagues here today have already said. This is about keeping families together. There is no better or no more important family value of our country than keeping families together. I know that many of us were just stricken when we saw the past uh, work of the former uh, twice at beach 34 felony convict uh, former president who was about tearing families apart this is different and it's different because joe biden has a heart has a heart he knows this is the right thing to do he knows it's the christian thing to do he knows it's in the country's best interest and all you have to do is look at a GAO report that came out a couple of months ago that simply said that the immigration surge in the next 10 years will contribute seven trillion, trillion, that's with a T, dollars in the next decade. And about one trillion in revenues, revenues, because just like Javier is a nurse, he pays taxes. So revenues that come to our country through many of these workers are important. What would we do if we had a $1 trillion gap? Think about it. So it's more than just keeping families together. It's also about keeping our economy strong. It's about making sure that all these kids have a shot at the American dream. I couldn't be prouder of Javier. Listen to what he said. He worked during the pandemic in the most critical cases. And I'm from Houston. I know the work of Methodist Hospital. I know the work that they did there. I worked with them throughout the pandemic. And we need more people like him. And that's the image that, frankly, I asked you all to project. We're tired, frankly, of just seeing the same photographs of the border. No offense, Veronica. You know, it's almost like a stage setting now. Everybody just walks there, takes pictures, does the photo ops. Go to visit to the people that are being impacted by this action. It is heartfelt. It is people who are working, people who are contributing, people who are in our churches and our schools, people who, frankly, are as American as we are, and their hearts are mind and soul, they're Americans. And I tell you, the president's right. America loves dreamers. They get 70 to 80% support for what we're doing today. America loves dreamers, and dreamers love America. Thank you. Ma'am, on the asylum, 